In this video, we're going to look at how we add dynamic backgrounds to your slides in Keynote. We're going to look at this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Now before we get started, if you're not familiar with who I am, I am Dan from Dan's Tutorials. I create videos on how to use the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. You can find them all at danstutorials.com. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like it, please let YouTube know by liking the video or even subscribing to my channel. Now, if you're watching this through YouTube on my site, if you'd like to learn more about all of my lessons and all that, you can also join my site and you will not see any of these promos or ads from YouTube. So it does hide all of these different ads. Actually, you get a Vimeo version of the same video. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go and take a look at dynamic backgrounds. This was a new feature that Apple added in the summer of 2022. So if you're using an older version of Keynote, you'll want to make sure that you go to the App Store and update your versions of Keynote on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. With dynamic backgrounds, what we're basically able to do is have a moving background, like rotating through colors as an example. There are a number of different options as well as different styles that you can choose from. Let's first look at this on my Mac. So I'm looking at this keynote presentation. It's a pretty basic presentation. I just have a white background. If I want to change the background color, what I do is I go up to format here, and then we go over to background. Now you're going to see when you update it that you're gonna have two options. What I can do is choose between standard and dynamic. Standard is what we are used to. I want to change it to a blue background. I just go over to my current fill here. And what I'm able to do is switch it to a blue background. If I want to go to a gradient, I go over to color fill here and I can switch it over to a gradient. But you're going to see that we have our new option here, dynamic. With dynamic, it'll create a moving background and we have a few different options with these backgrounds and we can customize them. So I'm going to click on dynamic here and now we can see we have some new dynamic backgrounds. If we look at my presentation you're going to see that those colors are moving. Let's go over to this one here. You're going to see it's a little easier to see. Click on it and now we can see that that green is moving away from the black. So we have different layers in here. Now each one of these has different options depending on which dynamic background you choose. With this one here, what we're able to do is choose the color. So I could easily change the colors for this dynamic background. I can also set what the movement is, what the height is, and what the peaks are. So if they're peaking too high, I can lower them. Not peaking high enough, I can raise them. And again, each one of these is going to have a different option. So I'm going to go to this first one here. You're going to see that we have different options here. We have a lot more colors that I can add, and I can change the angle, scale, and speed. If we go over to this one here, with this one I have the speed, height, and peaks. So once you add your dynamic background, what you can do is you can customize it. And then if you click on the arrows here, you're going to see that you have more options. And if you create your own, let's say you change it and you like to save it and you want to save it for other keynotes, all you have to do is just go over to the plus here and you can use it in new keynote presentations. So you can create your own based on one of the default settings here. We also have new themes with these dynamic backgrounds. I'm going to close this and then let's go ahead and delete it. We're just going to go to New here, and you're going to see that I have some dynamic templates. So let's go with my presentation here. What this is going to do is create a new presentation with those dynamic backgrounds. I click on the Add Slide here, and I can choose from different slides with dynamic backgrounds. Let's see how this works on the iPad basically works the same way. So I'm in my keynote presentation here. I want to change the background. Again, make sure that you go to the App Store and update. All I do is just go over to Format here, and then you're going to see Background. I tap on it, 
And then you're going to see I can choose between my standard and dynamic. I want to go to dynamic. I tap on dynamic. I have all of the same options here. And then when I click on it, I can go and change the different settings for it. If I want to change the colors, I can also change the colors. And again, just like with the Mac, if I create a new presentation, let's go ahead and create a new presentation. We're going to close this here. And I'm going to create a new one. Choose from a theme. And you're going to see that I have options for a dynamic background theme. On the iPhone, it basically works the same way. I have my basic keynote presentation here with a white background. What I need to do is tap on the paintbrush and the toolbar. This allows me to format it. And then from here, what I do is I go down to background. When I tap on background, what I have here is dynamic. I tap on dynamic and now I can choose from all of the different dynamic backgrounds. When I select one, I can also edit it. I just swipe up and we have all of the same customization options. And again, we have those same themes. I'm going to go back. We're going to create a new presentation. And what you're going to see when I choose a theme is I have my dynamic themes. So that's how we add a dynamic background, a moving background to a keynote presentation on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.